so hey guys what's up welcome to another video and in this video we are going to see how different websites or industries are using communicates advanced customer support solution to take their customer support to the next level so for today's video we are going to feature epicsports.com which is a e-commerce website and they sell sports related products on their web page So let's quickly load up their website and see how they are using Communicate's live chat widget. So as you can see on the bottom right corner, here is their chat widget. And the very first thing we can see is how they are intelligently collecting user data which can then be used for various purposes which we will talk about in this video ahead. So let's just fill the necessary information and continue with the conversation. And as you can see in this very next step. They have already provided their users with few quick options which we can directly click and continue a support experience. They have intelligently provided their customers with options which are very frequently used in an e-commerce website. So for now, let's just click general question. And as we can see, we have got an automated reply from the chatbot asking the user for a question. And if a bot automatically finds answer, it will instantly reply with one. If not, then human to hand off feature will come into play and hand this conversation off to a human agent. We can also choose another option such as order status. And as soon as we click that, the bot automatically searches their website to see if there is any order in place under the customer's email. If there is no order found under the same email, then the customer can also put their order number to track the status of their order. Now, if a customer types in a question such as buy a shirt and that query doesn't match with any of the intents which are created for the chatbot, then the chatbot will automatically try to fetch a human agent from the list of active human agents. If there are no active agents, then there is this custom message which you can program to show the customer. Okay, so whatever you just saw till now, let's quickly see how you can do that for your own bot. So. Let's start with the welcome messages. If you remember, the very first message from the bot side had few options which the user can easily click and get the conversation going. For that, let's go to the bot integration section from the left navigation bar and then click on compose. If you don't have a compose bot yet and want to know how you can create one, there is a link to the tutorial video in the description box below. Once you click compose from the welcome message section under enter welcome message, click on buttons and then click on this plus icon and click default button. Once that is done, enter a label for your button such as order status. If you want to add more buttons, just simply click on this plus icon, again select default button, enter label, for example, general questions. You can create as many buttons as you want. Once done, click save changes and whatever changes you are making, you can see the live preview on the right side. So once you are done with creating the buttons, now you need to create responses for those buttons. Just click on answer and create a new intent by pressing the add button. And you can give your intent a name and then under configure users message, write the message for which you are going to configure bot's reply. And as we begin typing, you can see it has already suggested a newly created button. Let's just select general questions. Let's just select this and configure bot's reply. We can just simply write, hey, how are you? go ahead and type in your query. Along with text, you can create more buttons, image or any custom payload for your bot's reply. Once done with all of that, click on save changes. And again, the preview is on the right side. Now, let's also talk about unknown user input. This is the message which bot will show to the user when the user's query does not match any existing intent and the bot is unable to reply. When this intent is triggered, the conversation is automatically transferred to a human agent. In case you want to customize your bot, click manage bots and in front of your bot, click the edit button. From this page, you can customize your bot name, your bot photo, you can select a bot avatar from the available ones or you can upload your own. You can also select default language for your bot. Once done with this, click save and proceed. In the next step, you can enable bot to human handoff. Your bot can hand off the conversation to a human team member when it is unable to recognize any user query. Once the handoff is done, the bot will stop replying. If you want to enable this, click yes and click update bot setup. So we can see where this is going. All of these things 
makes the customer experience so much better. The customer can get instant replies to his queries and the human agents are not given redundant queries to answer, saving them and the company itself lot of time and resources. This way, you can maximize your profits, reduce workload on human agents and most importantly, improve your customer support experience. There are various other things you can customize the chat widget the way you want to match your website's theme. The customer can anytime start a new conversation just by clicking this back button and then clicking this start new conversation button. So guys, this is one of many applications for an e-commerce website. You can explore tons of customization options and can create many intents for your chatbot. Now, that is it for this video. See you in the next one.